Hey guys, I'm Tony here, and we are still working on the spinning hooking challenge, and this is drill number 10. This is the final drill in the series before we have to crush the challenge. And just in case you forgot, if you're a beginner, white, yellow, orange, green, ish, you got to do four. Green can kind of go both ways. Maybe you can go into the intermediate, depending on how really pumped up you are and motivated you are about this. Go ahead and try the seven. Uh, that's going to go up into like the lower reds. Now, if you're a red or higher, uh, go ahead and try to knock out 10. Right now, you should be fantastic at these. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a noodle. Now, you can get these anywhere. Most of you guys have these. If you visit a, a swimming pool during the summer, you probably have them in your storage room. All we did was we took them and we just cut them up a little bit because we use them for different things and they've got a hole in the top so we can put a ball and it stays on here just perfect. So this is great for accuracy and also where the foot lines up because we talked about before in, in an earlier video, the over rotation. The over rotation kicks the toe up and makes you hit with the side of the foot. But when you do the kick correctly, it should be flattened out and this is going to make sure that that happens because it's such a small area to kick. If you don't do it just right, uh, the side of your foot is gonna hit here on the noodle. So you're gonna need, again, somebody to hold this for you or if you're if one of our littles and you're working on spin spin kicks if you have a baseball tee like a, a like a little tee that you can put the ball on that's perfect for this okay but if you have somebody to hold for you a brother sister mom or dad just take a couple of minutes and work on your accuracy here and work on those spin kicks making them awesome okay so Mr. Bob's gonna hold that for me and you can change your heights and your levels and communicate with with the person that's holding for you if you don't feel comfortable going too high bring it down and then you can always build up up. So I'm going to keep it about my head level and I want to make sure that my foot gets across here and, and, and I don't want to hit that yellow noodle. And again, think about the telegraphing of the kick by kicking that foot over and letting your partner know that it's coming. Think about the, the things that we talked about in the earlier videos and incorporating them into all of these as well. Uh, you didn't know I had a second one. I did not know he had a second yeah, one. Yeah. But that is a great idea. So as you can see, we come across, we catch the, the ball. We didn't hit the noodle, which I don't think. We'll have to go back and check tape. But I'm pretty sure that I didn't. Now, I didn't know that Mr. Bob was going to have a second ball there, but I really love that idea. So what I would do is I would have like a stack of them next to you so you can just keep on feeding them, right? And how about that for your challenge at the end? When you get ready to start knocking out 10 in a row, see, get 10 of those, those little balls. Have a little noodle, set them on top. Not only can you throw the spinning hook kicks without any props, but when you start adding this to the mix, now your challenge has been raised way, way up. Just imagine, by the time you go back to your classes, once you don't have to train at home and virtually anymore, which I hope you continue to do along with your regular training once you're back on the floor, think about how great you're going to be with all of the devices, all the tools, all the skills that we're giving you here in our virtual dojo. I'm Tony. I'm glad you're here with us. Have a good time with all these drills. Work hard and you'll be awesome. We'll see you next time.